Hi, how are you? Okay, so today we're going to be focusing on learning about symmetry. So symmetry basically means that what is on one side is also on the other side. And we're going to be, if you notice, you have some worksheets that are going over two faces, the human face, um, although it's cartoonish. And also, um, you also got a cat one. Okay, so what you need to do is really understand the concept of symmetry. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some examples. So obviously, the human face is symmetrical for the most part. I mean, if you take a super close look, you might notice that one eye is slightly bigger than the other. Um, but for the most part, they are exactly the same. Now, obviously, if you comb your hair to the side, it's not symmetrical. The hair would have to be um, exactly the same. But with the face itself, we're, we need it to be symmetrical. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to show you some examples. So we have this person who is smiling. So you can see his teeth, his nose, the space between his nose and the and his mouth is exactly the same on both ends. Um, his beard happens to be pretty symmetrical as well. Um, his cheeks, his eyes, and because he's wearing a hat, you don't even have to enter the factor about is the hair symmetrical as well. So it's important to understand the distance. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you another image. Um, we have now a face of a woman, which is quite pretty. Um, and her face is also symmetrical. She's arching one eyebrow a little bit higher, so the eyebrows don't look exactly the same, but I would say for the most part, they are the same. Her lips, are the same, so she actually has it, obviously we all have an indent here, but she seems to have one slightly over here. Let's take another look. Her face is symmetrical. Um, we're gonna now show you a baby. Now this is like a cutie patootie. I think he's so cute. Um, he's not symmetrical for the simple reason that his tongue is sticking out to one side. However, if his tongue were like this, then it would be, my tongue is pretty white, then it would be like symmetrical. His eyes are the same. He has a surprised expression. His hair is not symmetrical. Um, if it were symmetrical, it would be exactly the same all the way across. Um, but he is symmetrical. Now, um, so you're actually probably wondering, so the human face obviously is symmetrical. I should actually show you one more. Um, this is Emma, an Emma Zeke woman. And her face is symmetrical, right? And her tattoo on her chin is covering, is, is like kind of sort of dividing that. So. Um, if I were to pose like this, right, um, that would be like a three-quarter face. So my face would not be symmetrical in that image. Um, if I were to do a complete looking that way, my face would not be symmetrical. So the idea of symmetry has to be the face is front. Um, if you take a closer look, uh, you can tell I have a nose ring. So if you were to make or try to make me symmetrical um, or try to make a symmetrical person, I wouldn't enter the nose ring thing because the nose ring does not give it the exact as it is on the other side. And so you're probably saying, Ms. Cabrera's are being a little bit too much, right? But the whole idea is that when we are gonna be doing our symmetry project, we really need to make sure that what we draw on one side must be drawn on the other side. The other thing is that what you design, if you make the exact same decoration design, right? but they're not exactly the same in color, in size. So let's say you make this beautiful eye and you draw it exactly the same, but one is bigger, one is smaller, then they're not symmetrical, right? Let's say now they're drawn exactly the same, okay? And you will then color one red, on the other side you color blue, it's not symmetrical because it has to be exactly the same, right? Um, so you have human beings who have one brown eye, one blue eye, and that would not be symmetrical. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and look at some other things that are symmetrical. Um, we are focusing on the face. So if you look at this gorgeous tiger, you see that? Um, he's symmetrical. I mean, even like his prints, the design, the lines, I don't think it designs because I'm thinking like in terms of drawing, but his stripes, they look pretty much the same. What is on one side is on the other side. Let's go ahead and look at another animal. Um, I used to really love hippos. So this hippo, his face is symmetrical. His ears are symmetrical. His lips are symmetrical. His nostrils are symmetrical. 
he is symmetrical. So then we have have one more animal, this gorgeous brown bear. Isn't that beautiful? So that bear is also symmetrical. The color is symmetrical. Um, and the fur, the distribution of fur from one side to the other is symmetrical. So let's think about that in terms of hair. <coughs> if your hair, and we're looking at this now. <clears throat> uh, my hair is not symmetrical right now because it's combed to the side. If it were combed straight up to the middle and I were to comb what is exactly on this side and on the other, then it would be symmetrical. So when we think about drawing this, we have to draw the hair exactly how it is here. Meaning that if we're gonna be drawing it, it has to also kind of have that same, the width of the nose like has to be the same. So there are two things and two ways that you could do this. You can do it in a way that you're using, um, you're using an actual ruler. And that would be super precise because the ruler would let you know, uh oh, you're going a little bit too far out there or no, you're not going that far out there. So that's the great thing about the ruler, but you can also use your fingers um, to kind of like try to do it symmetrical. So let's go ahead and try this. All right, so I'm gonna go with pencil, um, but I can, I'm gonna then go with a marker. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna kind of get an idea of how big is that eye. If I were to use my finger, I know that the eye is supposed to be from here to here. I also want to understand the distance, right? So if this distance is the tiniest amount using something, then I'm going to make a dot over here. That kind of lets me know where should you start their eye. I'm going to go ahead and go across. And knowing that the eye is like about the, that length of my finger, I'm going to go make a dot over there. And then I need to know the, the height, right? We need to know what is the height of that again you can use a ruler but i can easily use another pencil and i could be like okay it's right about here so i know that it's supposed to be right here and then right here and then i know that i can make an oval and it's it's a little tricky even for a grown-up and then i know that this has to be pretty much in the same position right and that c has to be now i know that the smile that smile is pretty easy just going over this face is also or actually that's the nose going over here with the smile i want to go the same exact width so again i'm thinking to myself it's up to here in my head making a mental note so i know that i should make a dot on this end right here and then connect it oopsies so i can make a mistake that's okay um, but we are trying to get as close as possible. Doing the same thing with the cheeks or the, the top part. I know that it's right over here. So I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and go the same distance, make a dot. That kind of lets me know over here. I know that it's right over here, right? So I'm going to go ahead, same amount of distance and make a dot. And then I'm connecting those dots, right? They are curved lines and I'm connecting those dots. And that will allow me to, I can bring that up higher. Again, I'm going cutting across so I can see. Now I need to know where the ears start. And so I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna make a line and I'm gonna make a dot, right? That lets me know that the ear is about here. Where does it end? So again, taking that pencil, going, doing a dot and then connecting it, right? Cause that will let me know that the ears, you wanna make them as close as possible. Okay, with the hair, you're still kind of doing this. You are now doing the exact same thing that is here. And again, if you need to measure it in terms like, oh, it's the size of my nail. Oh, it's the height of this. So then I go over there and make a dot, see where it ends, right? That lets me know it's approximately here. So then I try to mimic this. And again, the same thing with this. This looks like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it like this. So you can use a ruler. This one is shorter, so I have to make that one short as well. That one's a little wider, so then I just go ahead, right? And it's it's trying to replicate what is on one side on the other side. If you notice, I didn't make that line over here, so that means that I have to go ahead and do that as well. So I did this, and now I need to do this one. And this one is a little different. Oops. So I noticed kind of getting close and this one doesn't fully connect. So now you can see there are like exactly the same. The hair has to go out. <clears throat> so 
So I am trying to do the same thing as I'm doing over there. Continuing over here. So I have that. Need to go do the other one. And then that curves a little bit. So I have my person who is symmetrical. So that is how we go about it. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Bye.